Hi, Lola the OS viewers. You all are welcome back to Lady OS Home of News. My people, I thank every one of you for watching my video, for sharing my video. My people, I bring this update. Come, make we listen to this update. Make we like the video, share the video, put your comment for the comment section. If you never subscribe for this my channel, do me a favor and subscribe and press the bell so that if I did drop out, you'll be the first person to. Our Prime Minister. Mazi Simon Epa is a divine instrument. Very important. As I'm talking to you, I have goosebumps all over me. And uh, each time I am connected in the spirit like this, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it right now. Biafra is a divine project. And there is no divine project that has ever been abandoned. The nation of Israel, the state of Israel, was a divine project. And Tukwokike made it happen against all odds. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 8. Go and read it. A nation was born in a day. As Israel was and is a divine project, the same way Biafra is a divine project. Why am I saying this? Look at what, um, you know, some people don't know when the devil used them. The devil is using the United States of America. And uh, God allows it because he has a plan. Do you know that when Israel sinned against God, it is God that gave the enemies of Israel the opportunity to punish them? so that he might fulfill his will and desire upon Israel. Now you might say, is America not God's own, own country? Is America not uh, the support of Israel? Yes. The Bible says, when a man's way pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. The Bible says that the lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. I have a godly heritage. Now, uh, what is the name of this blinking guy? Blinking. Blinken came to uh, Nigeria and uh, it has been unveiled what Blinken came to do in Nigeria. Now you see the breaking news. Nigeria buys 12 AH, uh, whatever Viper attack helicopters, others from US for $1 billion. The United States Department of uh, Defense has uh, confirmed a significant arms sale to Nigeria involving 12 AH, uh, whatever, Vigo attack helicopters to uh, bolster the West African nation military capabilities. Now, with all the whole evidence at hand that Nigeria is empowering terrorists, Boko Haram, yet America is trading with Nigeria and openly so. Well, I am very sure that America is aware that Biafra is unstoppable. I'm very sure. Uh, probably they want to collect that money from Nigeria, knowing fully well that Nigeria is doomed. Yes. They want to collect the money from Nigeria, knowing fully well that Nigeria will still use less whatever they bought, the way they use less the Tucano. Do you remember the Tucano? Now, when this news came out, our prime minister, who happened to be the divine instrument, released this statement. This is what Secretary Brinton came to Nigeria to do. Supply arms to terrorist government, thinking that this will stop Biafra. Where is your Tucano today? You have used Tucano against Biafra Liberation Army, yet no results. We will wait for this as well. Now, Biafra is a divine project. And when we talk about divine project, we're talking about the mighty hand of Chukwu Kikadiyama, that God that America claimed that they trust in him. Now, if America indeed trusts in God, they should be aware how far God has brought Biafra. I am the uh, uh, Deputy Information Minister of Biafra Republic Government in, East, uh, uh, Biafra Republic Government in Exile. My name is Rafael Chamaka Jere, a.k.a. Pastor Van Van Van. Blink can go and ask them what's the meaning of Van Van Van. Agama Adoki Van Van Van. Biafra is a divine project. And our Prime Minister is a divine instrument. Why am I saying that?
Do you know that some idiots will come and tell you that you need to depend on United Nations? United Nations need to approve your referendum. This is the reason why you must open your ear and listen to me right now. You see the reason why we cannot wait for United Nations? Because United Nations is an embodiment of the United States. United Nations, the last thing they will ever approve is Biafra referendum. They will never approve it. But when United Nations agree with our referendum, they have no choice. Listen to me and listen good. United Nations, being the property of the United States, we never approve a Biafra referendum that they will control. They will never. They will never. Just small thing. In the face of justice, they became a toothless bulldog. They commanded Nigeria to release Mazin and the Kamu, who Nigeria kidnapped from Kenya. Nigeria refused to obey them, and they did nothing. Now, the United States is now selling arms to Nigeria. What does it mean? It means that whatever Nigeria wants, America will support them. That is why we knowing fully well our capabilities, we are arming our army and equipping our people to defend our land. To defend our land. And in defending our land, as we continue to defend our land, we are going to the polls. And we are voting in an act shaking in and you know uh, uh, boy goodness me how do i describe this referendum in a revolutionary referendum revolutionary in the sense that it has never happened before a act shaking referendum something that even america have not seen before this is why biafra is a divine project it is not the project of man it is divine Tukwoki Kabiyama gave our Prime Minister a knowledge, wisdom, and ideas that beats that of the United Nations and that of America. Now, Anthony Blinken, or whatever your name is called, you are still learning where our Prime Minister is. Although, Guma Simon, if I let me show you before you will know, you need to know that he is the Commander in Chief of the Biafran Army. The Commander in Chief, the Prime Minister of the Biafran Army, he is the one in charge. The Commander in Chief. Let me tell you, their friends have deposited every of their faith and confidence in him. And whatever he say goes. Today, go to Biafra land. Go to Owe, go to Enugu, go to Opiwaka, go to Aba. Everywhere is under lock and key by the authority of the Prime Minister. Let me tell you, Blinken, you need to listen because I know that you have ears. Open your ears and listen. The people you sold these helicopters to, the people you are equipping and arm, arm, arming, he speaks a word and Biafra's worldwide listening to him. If in five days he does not say anything, the whole place will be in high tension. You want us to prove it? <laughs> you want us to? You want to bear us now? Just five days. Five days is too much. Twenty-four hours. If the Prime Minister does not say a word, everywhere in the southeast that you call, which is our Biafra land, including Nigeria, will be on their toes because they don't know the next line of action he is going to take. That is the third power, the third authority in the nation you are equipping. They have admitted and confirmed that he is the one in charge of Biafra land. And yet you are dealing with terrorists and selling arms to them. We are going to do to them what we did to them with the Tukano. I bet you. I bet you. Now, Biafra is a divine project. So, when they tell you you work for United Nations, tell them no. <laughs> no. Because we are not involved with America. We are not looking to America. We are not depending on America. America right now is controlled by the Obama party. The same people that said that they will keep Nigeria one. Not by Trump, who is coming. Not by the same Trump, who told Buhari face to face, why are you killing Christians? The same man that the president of the United States looked at eyeball to eyeball and told him, Why are you killing Christians? is the same man that Anthony Blinken and the Biden administration is selling jet planes and ammunition to. We are going to neutralize them the way we, the way we neutralize the rest. I can assure you that. We are the people of God. If you say you trust in God, we are the children of God. You are trusting in our Father. Now tell me, you that is alien to God, you are trusting in God, but we that are the children of God, we are the embodiment of God. We are the, we, we have control of our, our father is in charge. 
we are the full custodians of the power of god that you trust in so when you are looking at god to defend you we are the children of god that god must fight for and so we are not looking at you you can play all your games all your death fighters to nigeria we are going to stop them we are the children of heaven i'm telling you this is a divine project we have a divine instrument and you are at our mercy say to them whatever you care we don't mind you we are defeating them we are defeating them this is a divine project so so don't join anybody that is telling you we have to look at united nations united nations is america america is selling arms to nigeria and therefore the same people selling arms to nigeria will never approve your referendum that is why our referendum that our prime minister have initiated going smoothly where right now Biafras are voting and we are voting on a platform that america can verify is a legit platform the google platform a legit platform when we finish we present our everything to the world the whole world will see it and they have no choice but to say yes you did it it is your country you speak and they follow you tell them what to do and they do it you are not in charge go your own way because by the time we finish nigeria would be already below martin nam the kanu told them by the time we are done with nigeria even somalia will be like paradise I can guarantee you that. So go and tell Anthony Blinken that he can bring him all he wants. He can do all his caricature with the zoo. We know what he's doing. He wants to collect their money. Look, Blinken is collecting your money because he knows you have failed already. You are dilapidated. One dollar is equivalent to one thousand five hundred naira. Can't you see that America is playing you while you? And you will be saying, eh, 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 eh. "No, I'm asking you. How about the jets that talk is sold to you?" Do you remember they bought some jets from Turkey recently? Where are those jets? We are going to deal with you, and you will understand that this is a divine project, and we can never be abandoned. We are on the course of this life to restore the kingdom of heaven upon the face of the earth. My name is Officer Chamaka Jere, aka Pastor Van Van Van, and I give glory to God for our Prime Minister, whom He has chosen, mandated, and given a divine assignment that must be accomplished. And we will get the job done. Go to the polls, look for the link, vote for this referendum. By the end of May, we will begin to we'll play our cards and we will know how far we have gone. Whether or not Nigeria is finished, it is a done deal. I'm telling you, it's a done deal. Biafra, a divine project. Our Prime Minister, Masa Moneta, a divine instrument.